Imagine there is a way to make a communication system unhackable. Your information would be protected no matter where it was sent. The scientists at Wright-Patterson's Air Force Research Laboratory, Materials and Manufacturing Directorate are developing a unique material synthesis process to do just that, and they plan to do it with nanodiamonds. So our project is to synthesize nanodiamonds, and in order to do that, we came up with a new reactor design uh, that involves a gas-based plasma column. Nanodiamonds are microscopic diamonds which are already available on the commercial market, but at a lower quality. What makes this process special is how AFRL's nanodiamonds are being created and the level of accuracy they can achieve. Those two innovations should allow them to deliver nanodiamonds for quantum key distribution at a much higher yield than traditional processes. You have, you know, constantly like good guys and bad guys coming up with more safe, secure standards for protocol. If we can successfully do quantum key distribution, now you don't have to worry about hackers. Now it's truly the laws of physics that keep you safe. While the science of quantum key distribution might be a little confusing, think of it as a key and lock where the key changes if someone tries to copy it so eavesdropping can be detected. Encryption isn't the only new technology they hope to develop with these particular nanodiamonds. And really, I'd say the application space for nanodiamonds is exploding. So if you talk about, you can use nanodiamonds in magnetometry, you could use them in kind of remote sensing, um, you can use them in different kind of like biological projects. The team's next step is refining the process to make precise alterations to the nanodiamond structure. Reporting from Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Ohio, I'm Staff Sergeant Ashley Klingerman.